Ladies and gents, we live in interesting times. <clears throat> we live in crazy times. Let's just get straight to it. We all know what's going on. We know that there's a worldwide pandemic. There's a lot of theories, a lot of conspiracies. Me, I didn't create the pandemic, so I don't know where it came from. I don't know if it's 5G. I don't know if it's a virus. I just know that people around us are passing away at an alarming rate. The economy is pretty much shut down in America. Oil, a barrel of oil fell below zero dollars recently. So all of these like scriptural prophecies are being fulfilled in the times that we live in. They said there would be a time when money wouldn't even be worth money. And when you see oil, which is the foundation of the worldwide petrodollar going below zero, that says a whole lot. So we live in interesting times and for years I've had a dream. For those of you who, first of all, thank you for all my supporters. And you know, this is actually a good news video. There's a lot of good news because you know, in spite of all of the good news in the world, we have a leader who wants to put disinfectants in people's veins, you know, this is what he's suggesting or putting lights inside people's bodies, you know? And I find it interesting that some people say there is a cure and everything's patented, the virus is patented and the cure is patented. I just find it interesting how we don't have a cure, but we have quantum computers that could reach out and touch particles on the other side of the universe or even in other universes. That's the kind of computers, that's the kind of technology. We have artificial intelligence that can create the most um, efficient structures for human safety as far as cars, the bodies of cars are concerned and the bodies of airplanes. Like, you know, we live in an age of maximum knowledge and maximum efficiency, right? But it seems like death is the only mechanism that makes the world turn nowadays. And because of that, I guess I've been guided to this by Krishna over the years that I should um really get involved when Srila Prabhupada said we should have independent farming communities. And that's an idea that can be expanded to society at large. Um, recently, I was fortunate enough to come, you know, build up a coalition of people. So what's going on right now? We have something called Very Welcome. It's a company. It's been created. And what we want to do is have organic farming, heirloom seeds, basically People are unemployed by the millions and millions right now. And that the United Nations is talking about a coming global food shortage. So what we want to do is stay ahead of the curve. And we want to start growing our own organic food and raising our own cows. Non-slaughter, everything non-violent. You know, we're not going to um, forcefully impregnate cows. Basically, it's going to be modeled after a place called Gita Nagari, New Vrindavan new Taliban, but more of a secular movement so that it can be open to everybody. However, we want spiritual culture in our land. And remember, this is just one location. We're just starting with one location, but we want to take this all throughout North America. We want to start farming communities in Africa, Asia, Europe, South America, everywhere except Antarctica. And I do want to advance Srila Prabhupada's vision on this topic with cow protection being at the top of it. So there's a lot of material and spiritual blessings that come with cow pr protection. And I, I, I mentioned it in quite a few videos before. If you just scroll back, you'll see it, especially a video called Forget Those Cats and Rock With Me. A lot of you have seen that video and Again, I, I appreciate it. So finally, I was just told to build it and they will come. So what we did was build Very Welcome and now we have a fundraiser. And I have a council of people around me that I want to form into a board because I'm not interested in cheating you. I'm not interested in taking something from you and not giving something back. A lot of people over the years, charlatans, have dangled carrots 
in front of our face and said, this is what I'm building for you. Here's a hospital. People are sick. I'm not interested in building a hospital right now. You know, people are lonely. I'm not interested in building a roller skating rink. I'm only interested in building something where the people can eat. Years ago when I was in Al-Islam, there was a young man and studied Islam for a while and they said, Hayya ala salat, hayya ala al So life is on the worship and life is on the plowing. Falah is to plow. You see, a reverend cannot live without a farmer, but a farmer can live without a reverend. So whether you have religion or not, or a religious organization, whether you have a job or not, whether you're sick or healthy or not, you still have to eat. And we have to take charge of our own food security. We can't wait. I can't, you know, let my son grow up in a world where he might not be able to eat. So we're forming this collective and I need a wise counsel of people. Already I have people in place. Like I have someone in Africa who studied agriculture in school, agriculture and taking care of animals. I have someone on this side of the pond, he went to school for soil science. I have people in the group who are educated in education. I have people in the group who have links to land, vast amounts of land. People in the, the group who know about herbs. So we form, we're forming a council and I want to put everything, you know, again, I mentioned transparency is everything. I'm not going to ask you for donations and you don't know what's being done with the money. So right now there is a GoFundMe out there. I created a Patreon page just to show the people that I'm serious about living my purpose. And for those of you who see the same vision as me, I want you to come along. I want everybody to contribute. Srila Prabhupada again said there would be millions and many millions of people unemployed. He said this like 50 years ago. And now here we are. Srila Prabhupada's not here. But we are left behind to carry the song. So he said that these people are going to come to us for unemployment. Right now, a lot of people are sitting home. They could watch this video because they're out of work. Where can you work safely but in the fields? Growing your own food. Making sure your wife is going to be fed. Making sure your children are going to be fed. Making sure you're going to eat. We'll have access to clothes because we'll have our own sheep. But we're not going to do, again, nothing that's harmful or destructive to the animal. I already mentioned to you now. Here's what's interesting. So I was doing some more research into how to get cold gold from cow urine. Remember, the chemists at an um, institute at a, the Junagd Agricultural University of India in 2016 found that there's gold in cow urine in the form of um, uh, liquid soluble salts. So I'm going to need some chemists so we can cultivate the gold that's in the urine so that we could pay people. Srila Prabhupada said we got to pay people and he said we will pay people. Srila Prabhupada saw a lot of things in advance. So if he saw that people would come to us, we'd have to employ them. But if you go to Gita Nagari right now, everything's shut down to the public. If you go to New Vrindavan in Marshall County, West Virginia, beautiful farm up there with a swan lake, peacocks coming up to you, opening their feathers, nice temple, everything, shut down. No outsiders. New Taliban, I don't know what they're doing down south, but again... You can work safely. You can social distance from your co-worker if you're all working on a farm. You can have multiple families on a ranch or a, a good enough, a few acres of land, 100 acres of land, 300 acres of land. Let's think big. There's so many projects that I want to do and bring to fruition. So I'm going to need your assistance now. This is the first time I'm like directly asking you to donate financially to a cause that has been built from the ground up not only for my benefit, but for your benefit. So again, you know, I want to put everything, everything's on paper already. The company has been formed on um, verywelcome.org. We don't even have a website builder yet, but I put everything in motion because this is the growing season and we don't know if there's going to be a second wave of the epidemic this fall. So I'm, I'm begging you for your own good. Take advantage of the time that you have on your hands. Don't just wait for society to jump back up. Your life, the only thing that stands between the average person's life and death 
is a supermarket. Are you satisfied with that? And do you want to continue on that path where you have to rely either on a stimulus check? Speaking of stimulus check, a lot of y'all got money right now. And before you go give it to the nail salon, before you go give it to the barbershop, think about your children and what are they going to eat if there is a worldwide food shortage. UN said it. Um, so many things are going on in the food industry right now. People who are eating meat a lot and feel like they can't live without meat are going to suffer in the short and maybe long term. You're going to suffer because the pork factories are being shut down. The cow slaughter factories are being shut down because people are getting sick in the processing plants. So things are changing. You're going to have to start growing your own food. I recommend that everybody see this documentary called Seed. You might have to pay for it, but it's worth it. We've spent our money on a lot of other things. Get a documentary called Seed and watch it at home with your family. S-E-E-D. Seed. So yeah, how are we going to pay people? We're not going to pay people with um, milk and cheese, yogurt and butter. But if in the beginning we have to form some barter system, we all have to form a collective. Again, the collective is formed. Everything's laid out. It's here. All I need is help in something called organization and expertise. And I already have wonderful people that have done a lot. And one particularly wonderful person who I couldn't have done it without her help. You know? And I'm just appreciative that this moment has come that I got a little time off work to think, to formulate to see what's going on, to see what's coming down the road and prepare for it. So I finally got a chance to stand up for the people in a tangible way. We going beyond lectures, we're going beyond tours and trips. We going down to the basic first chakra root fundamental survival. And then from survival, we could thrive. But if we don't work together, everything has to be unified. Use your stimulus money and invest it in your own future. If you don't want to donate to my cause, fine. Again, let me explain something that's very important that I learned about the Bag of Agita. I look at this whole thing for me as service to the Lord. This is service. Okay? I'm serving the Lord's servants. I don't know who could be coming up on that land, who could be born on that land. It could be the next world savior. It could be the next Acharya. It could be the Messiah. It could be the Mahdi. It could be the Kalki Avatar. I don't know. All I know is that all living entities are special. All of us are souls. And as such, we all deserve a chance to survive and thrive. This is geared towards the people of the inner city. Those people who are disenfranchised. The urban people. Um, the diaspora. Primarily because our ancestors dealt with the land. So what I'm helping you to do is also reconnect with your ancestors and your ancestral traditions. You become empowered once you touch the soil and you see something grow out of the soil and you could eat and you don't have to pay another man for that food and packaging, you know, and you know where your food came from. You know what it went through. You feel me? So, yeah. And I found out just this morning I got a call from Cousin Johnny. Yes, Cousin Johnny. <laughs> Cousin Johnny um said that my great-grandfather, Walter Howell, who was married to Queen Vashti Howell, he was an entrepreneur back at a time when black people had little to nothing. And he was the one with the store up on the hill, and we sold certain things and products for the community. And I come from a long line of coal miners and hardworking people and as well as very smart and intellectual people on both sides of the family. So it's like everything's working in my favor and everything I was born for. Again, when I was in junior high school, I wanted to be a farmer. This is we talking about, you know, 1987, 86 times. Like, who wants to be a farmer? And who's thinking about being a farmer? Why did my natural instincts lead me to want to go into agriculture as an adult? Anyway, I got side rail, I got sidetracked, but anyway, I'm back now. And I'm ready to put my strength, my energy, my mind into this service. I would like for it to succeed, but success is not up to me. Success is up to divine providence. The only thing I could do is serve. Everybody's been asking me for years to do something. Well, I finally did something, and I'm looking for your support. All of those millions of people. I don't even know how many subscribers I have on YouTube right now. Maybe somewhere over 65 towards 70 million, subs not 70,000 subscribers. And 
like over 70 million views. I don't even know. But I started a Patreon account. Um, so what I'll do is just put some links in this video. I'll probably upload the video first, then gather all of the links. Um, again, our website hasn't been built, but the domain has been purchased. The LLC has been purchased. Everything's there, you know, website, um, email addresses. We have all of these things, and I could put those links, but I need web website developers. I need somebody with an advanced degree in chemistry on my team. So I have a team. I have a council, and all I got to do is just get a piece of land to show everybody and put people on the land and literally put them to work. The other day, a man walked up to me. Remember, I'm not in New York. I'm down south right now. A man walked up to me, asked me about a temp agency. People are out of work. I don't know nothing about this area. So I told him, listen, I heard that there's farms close by. You might want to go inquire at one of the farms. And guess what I found out yesterday? There is a shortage of workers at the farms. People, you don't see what's coming? Take advantage of the moment. Seize the moment. Carpe diem. Seize the day and take advantage of you, take care of your food security. If nothing else, we can't control if the nation's gonna open up, or we can't control if the stock market is gonna go up or down, but we could control that carrot that comes out of the ground and gets into that soup and feeds your family. So if anybody's down, show me your support. Now's the time, you know what I'm saying? I've spoke for many years about my dreams and about things I wanna do. Now I'm doing something and I'm asking you public to help. All of the tape, $500,000 is a tangible amount. It's actually very small. To think about getting solar panel on land, to think about getting land, getting yurts, or getting some kind of mobile trailers, we need people to be able to live. We're not moving to the wilderness of the jungle but we're still moving to a wilderness where we need something with an established house on the land or ranch kind of complex where there's running pipes and stuff like that. And we just build from there. There's not, For me alone, this would be very hard. But if 500,000 people gave a dollar, we'd, we'd hit the minimum right there. Really? I need millions of dollars to do this. But at least with 500 grand, we can get a few hundred acres, maybe a few cows, and get that solar panel on the land and start going in. We have to do this. We have a growing season right now. Let's grow some food. And at least this winter, you know, we'll take it from there. Then next spring, we just run it back and do it bigger and better and better. Keeping Krishna in the center. And when I say Krishna, is I believe in God. There's only one God. There's only one original source, absolute truth of everything. I just call him Krishna, but don't be offended. Don't be chased away from that. If you believe in Allah, you believe in Jehovah, whatever you believe in, just as long as you believe in the highest source, because we still going to have, at, at the, the axis of everything is going to be spiritual life. As a matter of fact, when we lay out the land, we have to have a spiritual sanctuary in the middle of the land, meaning that if we ain't got nothing else, even if we ain't got food, we still got God. So God should be in the center whatever you see God as I see God is one and he's the absolute source and absolute supreme truth of everything I call him Krishna but that's that's the sanctuary non-denominational but we're gonna have some Harinam Sankirtan popping off in there it's gonna be some joyous occasions you know so I welcome you all you all are very welcome we're gearing this towards the people of the diaspora to re-empower them however all are welcome if you are here to contribute and not to take over um, there's a word There's a word in the Bible Israel supplanted We don't want any supplanters Don't take over This is There's no false proprietorship here Only ownership here is Krishna He owns the land, the cows, the people And my very soul And this mission is for my soul And I need everybody to jump on board 500,000 people give a dollar Or what? 500 people give ten thousand dollars i don't know how the math goes but the math is good once everybody starts chipping in that's how i look at it once again my name is capri scott aka Sunman part two and i'll be putting some links up in the video i hope you can see where i'm going with this and yeah again i need some people who are advanced in chemistry because when i researched that university in india after 2016, they stopped posting on all of their finding, findings, right? There was no more articles. The last article about gold and cow urine was in 2017, and all of a sudden, the information stopped. And guess who starts lecturing at the university around that time? None other than Bill Gates. Can you believe that? 
the university that found gold has Bill Gates on their board of lecturers. And now there's no more information. They said they were, they were about to breed 29, they were about to check 29 other indigenous cow species in India to see the gold content in their urine and now the information stopped. So let's get on it. Even if their process is patented, we can still probably find another pat uh, process through the Vedas or through our own chemical geniuses. All right, let's do it. Let's feed these people. People are hungry. They're sitting around waiting. People, are, they need positive engagement. They need, you know, you need to get up with the sun and go to sleep when it goes down. You need to eat right. You need to maintain a regulated sex life, regulated breathing patterns, regulated spirituality. We need regulations. Look, people are languishing, gaining weight. What's going to happen when you go back to work and you're 30 pounds overweight? I've been down south just since um March 20th, and guess what? I'm like in the 190 pound range. It might not look like that, but yeah, I'm like in the 190 pound range. I gained like over 10 pounds down here, B. So it's really serious. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, they don't eat good, so they're gaining the wrong type of weight. You get what I'm saying? And then it gets exacerbated when you catch a virus. Your immune system's already low. Nah, touch the earth, touch the air, touch the sun, touch the animal touch the spirit it's time to reconnect back with your ancestors and reconnect with your spiritual access i am here to help you do that if you're willing to help me unity is everything ubuntu with that i would like to end it with a special mantra that i always love to chant and i hope that you'll get a chance to look it up it will do wonders for your spiritual life Hare krishna Hare krishna 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 Hare 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 rama Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. May everyone be satisfied. Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti.